Answerly viewers! This week I thought I would just share with you some of my favorite iPad games. Everybody knows about Angry Birds and Plants vs. Zombies and Fruit Ninja and all of those, so I figured I would just skip right past the really popular ones and share with you some of the lesser known, super fun games that I personally enjoy. These are my top five favorite iPad games. First is Peggle. It's my go-to game when I'm bored on an airplane. Basically you just shoot out a little ball and you try to hit all of the orange pegs before you run out of turns. There are tons and tons of levels and each one adds new obstacles and new special abilities that you have to make sure that you can hit everything in that level. It's a relatively simple game to understand but it takes a little skill and patience so it's a really really good game for passing the time. Plus the music when you beat a level is amazing. It's actually what got me hooked on this game in the first place. Next is Virtual Villagers. There are multiple versions of this game out already, actually, but each new release just adds more exciting stuff to the game. It's a simulation game where you control a island village and you have to make sure that it stays running smoothly, basically. There's a few different interesting game aspects like making your villagers research things to become more educated to run a better society and mating different people to repopulate the island. It's really fun. I played this game a lot while I was traveling abroad because the game runs in real time so you do have to check it semi-frequently to make sure that everything's running smoothly and that your people aren't dying or repopulating too quickly, so it's a really good way to pass the time when you're bored, you know, on public transportation or something like that. Jelly Defense is game number three. It's a standard tower defense game, but you're playing with these adorable little red and blue blobs of jelly, I would assume, by the name. The music is amazing, it's just hard enough to keep you entertained for hours, and it's another great time waster if that's what you're looking for. Puzzle Quest 2 is also available on the iPad, which actually blew my mind because I'm so used to playing the Puzzle Quest games on the DS. If you like the Puzzle Quest games, it's seriously amazing to switch from a screen this big to a screen this big. The game itself combines the mindlessness of Bejeweled with the nerdiness and the sort of challenging aspect of playing a standard RPG game, so really, what's not to love? Last is a multiplayer game called Hanging with Friends that's seriously addicting if you can get your friends to play with you. It's pretty much just Hangman, but digital. And it's a little easier than Words with Friends, so you spend more time having fun and less time arguing with your friends over whether or not that word they just played was actually real or not. Also, if you don't have an iPad, any of these games can be played on your iPhone or your iPod Touch as well. If you have any digital games that you love playing on your phone or on your iPad, leave them in the comments below and share them with everyone else. Otherwise, until next time, it's game over.